Hi there. Now, we're given that a particle P of mass 0.3 kilograms and a particle Q of mass 0.2 kilograms are 3.6 metres apart on a smooth horizontal surface. P and Q are simultaneously projected directly towards each other along a straight line. And before the particles collide, P has a speed of 4 metres per second and Q has a speed of 5 metres per second. Given that the particles coalesce in the collision, calculate their common speed after they collide. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when you're done. Fast forward to the end just to check the final solution or take it slowly through the video and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So how do we do a problem like this? Well, first of all, what I'd want to do is just draw a sketch. And my sketch would look something like this with the two particles P and Q of masses 0.3 and 0.2 kilograms respectively. I haven't marked in the kilograms just because of lack of room here. I've got the speeds before impact of 4 meters and 5 meters per second and they are moving towards one another. Now we're told that when they hit one another they coalesce, which in other words is they essentially join together and form a combined mass. That combined mass is going to be 0.3 plus 0.2 which is going to be 0.5 kilograms. And we've got to find out what that common speed is after they collide. Now it doesn't matter really which way you put your velocity arrow, let the maths do the working, but we could possibly sense that it is going to move off to the right. And I know that purely because to calculate the momentum of P, remember that momentum is mass times velocity. Now if you do the mass times the velocity, that would be 0 0.3 times 4, coming to 1.2 kilogram meter per second units of momentum. When you compare that to the momentum of Q, 0 0.2 times 5, which is 1 kilogram meter per second, you can see you've got much more momentum from P to the right than you have of Q to the left. So the winner, if you like, in this is going to be P. So it's going to shunt Q off to the right. So that's why I'm going to select V to the right, V meters per second to the right. But if you didn't know that, as I say, experiment with this, reverse the direction, do the conservation of linear momentum, which is what we're going to do in a moment, and you'll see that V will come out as a negative number if you have it facing in the other direction. OK, so uh, let's run through this then. I mentioned the conservation of linear momentum. That is, the total momentum before impact equals the total momentum after impact, providing no external forces act on the system. Well, these are moving on a smooth horizontal surface, so we can apply this. So if we take positive then to the right, OK, we'll take the positive sense to the right, Looking at the total momentum before impact, we've got the momentum of P, which is going to be its mass, 0.3, multiplied by its velocity, which is 4. It's in the positive sense, OK, so that's plus 4. And to this we add the momentum of Q, so its mass is 0.2, and we multiply this by its velocity, which is now going to be negative 5, because the 5 meters per second is towards the left in the opposite sense to what I've got here. So take care over that. These are places where I'm sure people trip up. And this equals the total momentum after impact. We've got the combined mass of P and Q here, 0.5 kilograms. And if we multiply it by V, it will be V because that will be in the positive sense. So what do we get? We get 1.2 minus 1, which is going to be 0.2. So therefore, 
0.2 equals 0.5v. And if we divide both sides by 0.5, you end up with v equaling 0.2 divided by 0.5, which is 0.4. 0.4 meters per second. Now let's just suppose you took v the other way. Okay, let's just suppose then that you did that. Let's just put that in with a dotted line like that, okay? I'll run through, show you what happens, because I'm always asked, okay? Let's suppose we take positive this way, okay? Then if we do this version, we're going to have the initial momentum, which is going to be 0.3, okay, for the mass, 0.3, multiplied by the velocity. 4 is in the negative sense to what I've got here, so it's going to be minus 4. Then to this we're going to add the momentum of Q, which is going to be 0.2 for the mass, times the velocity, 5. And this is in now in the positive sense, that's so going to be times plus 5 there. And this is going to equal the total momentum after impact, which is going to be the mass, 0.5, multiplied by, and remember it's this V that I'm using now, and it's in the positive sense. So that's got to be V there. So what have we got? We've got minus 1.2 plus 0.1. So we've got minus 0.2 equals 0.5 v. And if I divide both sides by 0.5, what I therefore have now is that v equals minus 0.4 meters per second. But because I've got a minus here, it means that I've got this direction the wrong way around. And so therefore, I can just say that p and q move off to the right with a speed of 0.4 meters per second. Let's just bring those two together, okay, at this point here. Whichever version you take, you can see that P and Q move to the right. Okay, so do experiment in questions like this with your direction, but generally it's good to try and figure out which way you think it's going to go and take positive in that sense, okay?